Hello, surely many of you had a situation when you found a pair of original and graded images. You liked the edit, but you could not recreate it. In this video, I'll show you how to do it. I will use the Color Target Matching Tool, which is available in the Pro version of 3D LUT Creator. So, I have two photos, one edited and one original. I will load the edited photo as a reference. These images were provided by Arthur Bagel, a special thanks to him. I believe that not everyone knows that to use a color matching tool in 3D LUT Creator, you do not need to have a snapshot of the color target itself. For the matching process, it is enough to specify pairs of source and target colors. In my case, I also do not have a color target, so I'm going to use the matching mode by color pairs. To specify the color pairs, I'm going to choose Eyedropper and add the colors to the palette. In my case, the images are geometrically identical. That is, the Liquify tool has not been applied during edit. So I will take the desired color from the original. Then I switch to the reference by pressing the equals key and add the color from the same place of the reference image. What should you pay attention to? Firstly, see if vignetting was applied to the photograph as vignette can distort the colors on the edges of the frame. If vignetting was applied, then reference colors should be taken from the central part of an image. What color should you add? You need to add different hues, and they need to be taken from the highlights, midtones, and shadows. I'll start with the skin. Color pairs are added to the palette. In the left column is the color of the original. In the right column is the color of the reference. That is, the color I should get. I'll add the rest of the colors. That's what happened. Now I will open Color Chart Grid Tool. But instead of the target data, I choose Color Swatches. I use color matrix first and then A, B, grid. Done. Now let's compare it to my reference. Here is the reference, and that's what I've got. I'm going to use the curves to extract the tint from the reference. I'll smooth them a bit. Using master curve, I will adjust the contrast. Now, using the Sat Luma curve, I will reduce the saturation of shadows and highlights and increase the saturation of midtones. Compare before, after. After applying the toning, the background became too blue, so I'm going to undo the changes on the grid for the blue shades. That's what happened. Here is before and after. It turned out quite similar, so you can use this method for copying the edit if you have only before and after images. That's it. Like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.